So Yannick says, Luke, you need to add a locator file next to your car and upload it to the internet for anyone to yeah. enjoy. Yeah, I so, need, uh, I'll, I'll look it up after this. It's very simple. I'll explain how I do it. I put my car model on people.ubuntu.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just needs to be on the internet somewhere. So the car model does, same, oh, yeah, same name, yeah, just yeah. stick it on the internet somewhere, yeah. and then in where your car model exists in the um, the game data locally, uh, you create a file which is the same name, so car.zip.loc, yeah. and that loc file is just a text file, and it has one line in it which is the URL to the ah, okay. downloadable car model. And then what happens is um, people people's machines will then automatically download that model into their game right. so that they see your car when oh, they're playing. Good. Okay, yeah, I'll do that after this then. So next time it'll be... Um, you can do the same things with the car horns and your avatars. So Where that, did you get the model from, Luke? Uh, uh, just the bad car. The workshop. The Steam, oh. Steam Workshop, yeah. You can go and you oh. can filter by, I think it's classed as a skin. Yeah, and then it was it was all fancy with like racing looking stuff, and then I just painted you strip over it that out, strip <laughs> that out, made it orange, yeah, added mate. some blue, added my face to it. <laughs> you put your face on oh, your yeah, car. My face is on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So my car is Ooh, my the car. version one Hello Kitty car that's had the Hello Kitty stuff removed and the uh, Ubuntu Mate stuff added. Nice. Except for the driver's helmet, which is still a Hello Kitty uh, racing helmet. 